It's your boy OPN Dre. I just jumped out the port with Dirty Glove Bastard. All right, so we got OPN Drake off the porch with us today, man. No cap. How you feeling today, bro? Good, man. Thank you, positive. There you go. Yeah, appreciate you coming by today, man. Why don't you introduce who else is on the porch with you today, man? Got my nigga. Got my nigga Smoke with me. You feel me? Got my nigga Leo, man. Real soldier. Real okay. soldier. We soldier for real. Yeah. All you guys from Albany? Yeah, Albany, Georgia, right east side. At okay. Three, for real. All right, man. So talk to us about life in Albany, man. What's going on down there these days? Shystiness. Everybody slamming. Murder. It's a whole lot of money, though. I'm gonna get you some money. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it, though. It's so crazy in Albany. Yeah. Well, I think there is so much violence down there, man. Can't really say. Everybody got to prove that point. Everybody feel like they want to prove a point to somebody. So they gonna do this, I'm gonna do that cause I think he gonna leave him and nigga like that. Yeah. And you said you from the east side, right? Yeah, Latewood, Philwood, okay. stouting on me. How's the east side compared to the rest of the city? We the biggest, biggest side of the city. Yeah. We All go right. harder than any other side, no cap. No cap. All right, how would you describe your childhood growing up there on the east side then? I'd say it was even. Like, let me see, like, growing up, yeah, I was going crazy. I was going crazy when I was little. I got locked up 16. I've been locked up 16. I turned 17 in jail. Did like 18 months, ever since then, I've been rapping, going to talk. Oh, shit. What, what you got locked up for? Little situation at school. Oh, really? So at what age would you say you jumped off the porch then? I was say about, I let him twelve went on, let him twelve. Really, that yeah, young? Yeah, let him twelve. Smoked my first blunt. It was over with. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any older brothers out there? Any big homies or anything? I got a big brother, Bobby C. Free him, no cap. Okay. Free that butt. <laughs> yeah. What was one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn in your life? Don't trust everybody. You can't trust everybody. Please don't trust everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got to tell you right now. I feel that, man. So were you making music before you got locked up, or did you start as soon as you got out? Oh, yeah, I was doing it since I was nine. I was, I was just rapping. I, like, freestyle. If, like, if a beat come on, I freestyle. But I took it serious when I was, like, 15, made my first song. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Who'd you grow up listening to? Let me see. Since that boy, young boy, dry, he was hard, though. Ever since young boy came out, I've been vibing to him. I vibe to these boy, you feel me? Myself, vibe to myself. Yeah. So both of them rap, too? Yeah, them boys go crazy. Okay. So um, when you started taking it serious, what type of feedback were you getting when you were releasing the music? I was getting hella feedback. Like, everybody was vibing with me. Everything I draw, everybody, they gave me fire emoji, good feedback on everything I drop. So I'm like, yeah, they got to like it. I'm going to just keep dropping it. You feel me? Keep dropping. I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. What does the OPN stand for in your name? Original Pert, nigga. OPN. OK. How'd you come up with that? It was just something I was thinking about in jail. You feel me? A little something we would think about. I just came up with it. I was like, I ain't, at first, my name was Pert Boy Drake. But I say, no, nah, I ain't going to be Pert Boy Drake. I'm going to be OPN Drake. You feel me? Like, that give a different meaning. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the rap game right now? They just need to go on. Let your boy know. I'm, I'm going to show him how to work. Yeah. I'm going to show him how to get out of it, man. For real, drop them hits, back to back, air trip. Yeah. What's the music scene like in Albany right now? Oh, yeah. Everybody go crazy. Well, really, all the people that I fuck with, they go crazy. You feel me? You know, you got oppositions on the other side, you feel me? Niggas ain't cool with it, but everybody I vibe to, they, they go hard. Yeah. Especially that three, like I say, we go harder. That east side. <laughs> no cap. You get a lot of support down there? Yeah, I'm Odell. Okay. Are uh, the clubs open down there during the pandemic, or is it uh, everything closed up? 
Oh, that trout? Come to that trout? You're going to go up. <laughs> Why do you think people overlook the town in Albany? Small. Yeah, it's so small. It's real small. You probably wouldn't even know what it is until you just die like, oh, well, I'm, at, I'm at Albany. You feel me? And people don't know what that is. Yeah. Do you be writing your raps or you just freestyle punch in? It'll be both. It depends on how I'm feeling when I go in the stool. Okay. What are you rapping about most of the songs? Is it the trap, the streets, or? I say what I what I be doing most of the time, but you know I gotta switch it up. You gotta be versatile. You can't just always rap about killing woo the woo, doing this and that. You feel me? You gotta be able to rap about like what other people go through too. Like that's the only way they gonna feel your music if you rap about what they going through. You feel me? Or rap about what you done seen. You feel me? Keep it realistic. Don't be lying in your song like cow. <laughs> Feel that? How often you hit in studios uh, these days? I say about week, like weekly. Yo, I say about weekly, cause every, every other day I'm coming up with something new. You feel me? Like I probably, we probably be Ryan. I probably say, Budget came up with this right here. I'm gonna put that on the song and go to the stool. Yeah. yeah. Are there any good studios down there in Albany? Yeah. Yeah, a couple, like, yeah, I'd say about three to the most that good, good quality, look good, all that. Yeah. You be coming up here to Atlanta to record? Yeah, I'm Odell. Okay. Any plans to move outside of Albany then? Oh, yeah, that been happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, what, what's the single you pushing right now? That dead guy. That dead guy, go get that dead guy on YouTube right now. Yeah, so you just dropped that video on uh, what New Year's Eve, right? Yeah, dead guy. Okay, what are you rapping about on there? Yeah, I say that murder, that murder, murder, murder. Yeah, for real, murder music. I so saw you dropped a song called "Fuck Albany." Yeah, <laughs> why? Why are you chopping the city saying "fuck your city," man? No, when I was in jail, it just was a little song. You feel me? Little song I came up with because I was like, oh, I ain't never getting out of jail. You feel me? I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to write this song, name it for Albany. I know they're going to like it because it said, you feel me? Then I had to go hard. I got my boy Say 10 on that with me. Okay. What was the feedback like when you dropped that song? Great. Yeah. Got 12K views right now on YouTube. Okay. That's what's up, man. Um, then you got a, what was it, Scarface Drake? Yeah, Scarface. Scar on my face, I'm going out busting. Mm. How'd you get the scar? It was a little, a little event my mom had for my brother. We were playing, find you feel me? The bed real Oh shit! Leaking, leaking OD bag. Did you go to the hospital for it? My mama did that. She put bad days on it, gave it clean, so it healed. I was in feel great. Oh damn! Little kid. Yeah. You working on a new mixtape or anything right now? Oh yeah, Tales of a Stepper. Okay. What type of vibes are gonna be on this project? A rich nigga vibe. You feel me, y'all? <laughs> Who are some of the features you've been working with lately? Really Smoke and YB, Satan, my nigga Satan. Okay. We call him YB, you feel me? What about producer wise? Who have you been uh, working with? This nigga ain't right. This nigga ain't wrong, yeah. You from Albany? Where are you from? He's from up here. Okay. You locked in the studio with him or just be emailing? And just book hours and he, you feel me? He makes sure everything get handled. All the songs get mixed, you feel me? So I'm good on my end as long as I go crazy. Yeah. What's the next single or video you plan to drop? I want to drop another video to that last art. I dropped that on my last tape, Nightmare on Elba. It's on Audio Mac right now. Okay. Nightmare on Elba. Yeah. Did you shoot the video already? I uh, ain't shoot it yet. We plan on getting what we're going to shoot it at, get little scenes. We're going to go down. Yeah. Who are some of the video directors you've been working with? Oh, I don't work nobody but 8 Block Entertainment. He from down there? He, no, he, no, well, let me see. He from that area. Okay. Around that way, you feel me? 
Yeah. He can just push up. Okay. When do you think this project will be ready and you'll uh, drop it? Got like four more songs. We'll be done. I'll take it. Okay. It'll be on to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> How many re songs you be recording each time you hit the studio? Like three. I'd okay. say like three. Sometimes from from high to high or drunk, I like two, <laughs> two and a half. I'm gonna come back and finish that. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, any artists you want to work with one day? Baby. He go dog. Yeah. He got real. a lock right now. He got a skeet on fire right now. For sure. How'd you link up with uh, Hustle Room? No cap. Keep it real. Me and my nigga were walking through the hood. He pushed up, seen him. He, like, I was like, no, he, he chopped up with me. He heard my song, he chopped up with my real, you feel me? Yeah. Everything after that, it was his. We're going to go up. Yeah. Yeah, because he's really trying to bring the city together with the rap, you know? He doing his thing. Can't hate him for that. For real. Yep. You looking to sign with the label one day, or you want to just remain independent? It's them prices, right? But independent though, I'm on all everything OPN. I'm on that, so you feel me. Either way, it's good though. Either way, I'm gonna be out the hood. You gotta go back. My mama not gonna be out the hood. We straight. Did you turn OPN into your label? Gotta do that. Do you look like? Do you look to uh, put on other artists, sign them, and give them a platform too? Only my nigga. I'm gonna keep it real, only my nigga. Yeah. Ain't nobody else out here star with me. No boy did, you feel me? Yeah, I feel that. What's some of your goals for this year? Like if you were to come back next year, where are you trying to be at in your, your music career? The top, I'm gonna be over all the like, all the industry niggas, I'm gonna be over though. Yeah. For real. What's the biggest song you dropped so far? I say, for Albany. For real? You think that title just kind of drew him in? Like they got to click on it, see what the hell you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, and then that bit went up. But like I told you, that dead guy too, though. It's that dead guy, them two. And I got a song called Drum Roll. Everybody love that bit. They love that drum roll. Yeah. All right, what else you working on? What else is coming up for you? I'm gonna tell the folk, nigga, I'm finna drop the pen, chain, nigga, Drake chain, nigga, it gonna be over. I'm locked in all year, 2021, my year. For real. All right, any shout outs? I'm gonna shout the gang out, nigga, free the bro, free ski, kitty pee, blow some, free all them boys, for real. Free baby hit up, they got the bros up the road, free them boys, fighting murder one. Yeah. Oh,